All right, this is just a rudimentary tester we uh, made years ago to test different springs and PSI rates and how it affects the wastegate. I, I thought it might help in some of these videos. The turbine wheel is blocked off, so the only way the air can get out through here is through the wastegate, which is attached here and opens up. So when you see this flapper start to move, you'll know that there's air coming out through the wastegate. I'm just gonna show how it works with the red hose, without the red hose, and what happens when you tighten the spring. So here we go. All right, this is about as loose as you can go on the spring. Watch the pressure and the, the little piece of paper that's gonna flap and you'll see when the wastegate starts to open. See how it's immediately starting to open just a little bit. So that's five PSI. That's about as loose as you can put it on there. Let's tighten it a couple of clicks. All right, after tightening the turnbuckle, Let's see what, how it affects the wastegate. It's still opening, but just a little bit slower. It's fully open by 14, 15 PSI, where you will notice that it's open. Let's tighten it again. All right, so now you can see as you tighten the turnbuckle, it's just gonna delay at what PSI the wastegate starts to open. It'll still open even with the red hose unhooked. It still works perfectly fine without the red hose hooked in. So what exactly does the red hose do? Well, the red hose can apply boost pressure here, which will open the gate early. Uh, I've talked with Power Hungry Performance and many different tuners, as far as I understand it, there's no way to control it, there's no way to adjust it, there's no tables for it, or at least no one has figured it out yet. So why do some trucks work fine and some trucks you have to unplug the red hose? Well, I can't tell you why, because I can't tell you what the tuners can't tell me, which is when it applies the pressure. But let's see what happens when you do apply the pressure and why some people notice a huge increase in boost when they unplug the red hose. So this is still the same spring pressure as last time where the, the spring would start opening between 25 and 30 and it'd be fully open between 35 and 40. So the most common number I hear is between 20 and 24 PSI, which is where they often do fuel also. So even if your gate hasn't started opening yet, it's not open. Watch what happens when I apply just a little bit of air to the red hose slot. See that? It's a huge boost drop off. It literally blows the gate wide open at that point and boost will not be able to overcome it. So something else we've heard is what happens if you vapor lock this? Oh no, don't cap it, do cap it. It really doesn't matter. It's just a spring in here, that's all it is. That little tiny bit of pressure from that being on there will have zero effect on the gate. It's just a giant spring in there. In fact, some people sell this unit without the nipple on it. It's literally just the spring on it. But just for fun, I'm gonna put my finger on it, open it up. Take my finger off, do the same thing. It makes absolutely no difference whether this has got a cap on it or whether it doesn't have a cap on it. You can break the nipple off, any of that. This is used for setting the pressure of the turbos and testing it. It's not really, you. if you don't hook the red hose up, it, it doesn't matter whether this is plugged in or not. All right, let's dive into the what the wastegate is and what it entails. This is a little seal so that the red hose can work because what it is is that it'll put pressure on this side of the spring and it'll push the spring open like that. But what happens if you didn't even run that? You didn't even run this. Let's do the same test with nothing even attached to it. Now it's just a spring in a housing. This is the same setting as last time. Let's see what it does.
So it still works perfectly fine without anything even on there. All right, going over it one more time. How this works is this spring is putting tension on the wastegate. When you build up back pressure, it'll naturally just start to open with or without the red hose plugged in. What the red hose does is allows the PCM to put extra pressure on the spring to open the gate early. Now, if we could control that in tuning, it'd be phenomenal because then you could really dial in the turbos. But as, as of now, there's no tables for it. It seems like some strategies do it at one PSI, some don't do it at all, and some don't seem to matter. So it doesn't matter whether it's a stock turbo, a Power Max, a D66, or a KC turbo, they all work in the exact same way. As you tighten the turnbuckle, it'll delay the PSI at which the wastegate kicks in. As you loosen the turnbuckle, it'll make the wastegate open earlier. And if you're running the factory red hose, then whatever that strategy happens to be is gonna open the gate earlier or later, depending on which one it is.